everybody, it's Maria. Welcome back to my channel. I have my Friday favorites for you guys today for the week of September 8th through 14th. I hope you guys had a great week. Mine was fine. Um, I'm sporting a lot of Hello Kitty uh, today. I'm wearing some earrings. A friend of mine sent me these ones my husband got me. And my little plastic bracelets that I love. I'm going to wear one of these to work. To work. And I'm sporting this cute little bow. I don't know if I got this at the Dollar Tree or someone sent it to me. I think my friend Charlene sent this to me. I cannot remember. Charlene, if you sent it to me, thank you. If not, then I'm pretty sure I got a Dollar Tree. Anyway, let's go and get started. Um, Yeah, I'm going to have a hard time uploading a few videos on my laptop because our internet is not working right now. So we're probably going to have to either go to the library or Starbucks to upload the video. So please keep that in mind. Before I get right into it, I have a video idea. Um, I ran by folks on Keek. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, I'm thinking about doing a Wednesdays or Thursdays, do like a getting ready with me, the weekly chit chat, catching up with Maria, while I show you a look from a palette. Now, I kind of took part of the idea from my friend, uh, Ashley, Texas Mommy and Boy. She said, that's cool. Yeah, no problem. Because um, I did ask her. Um, but I, I figured since I was at least uploading once a week, at least a getting ready with me video, if you guys want to do it while I'm doing like a catching up with me kind of, and like my friend does. Uh, my friend Mimi, she does a catch up with Mimi. So, yeah, just, you know, I mean, I normally cycle Bible in the videos anyway. So, let me know in the comments below if you think I should do it. Um, I'm no makeup artist. I'm just slowly getting my, my eyeshadow look. Um, as you guys know, I'm, some days I do my eye makeup right, some days I don't. I'm doing a different look. I actually didn't like it when I put it on, but now, uh, after I had looked in the mirror a little while ago, and I went, wow, I actually like the way it looks. It's different. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to do it. I'm probably going to post it either Wednesday or Thursday. I'm thinking Wednesday because it's kind of in the middle of the week. Um, and um, do like Ashley suggested, like if there's a palette from my recent makeup collection video that you saw from when we had put together something. So, with that being said, let me go ahead and start with the Lut products that I have loved. I've been wearing this. Um, now, so for yesterday, even now Tuesday, when I didn't wear any eye makeup, I had every intention on, I'm still working on doing a video with this uh, eyeshadow palette, and Tuesday I had every intention on getting it done, uploaded, it was a no fail, but I had already had this lipstick combo on, and for the most part of the week, except for yesterday, and probably today, I've worn this combo all week long, it's my favorite, it's uh, Kate Moss number 14, love, this is such a beautiful nude color. Um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in last week's uh, Friday Favorites. It's such a gorgeous nude color. I am going to repurchase this one when I run out because I've got some other nude lipsticks uh, in my collection. After I did my collection, I realized I wouldn't use them, so I'm going to get rid of them and just stick to the ones I am. I am planning on buying my first MAC lipstick. I've been talking forever ago to do that, and I've decided on Cream Cup would be the best bet for me because it's a nude color. I'm really into nudes, and I would wear that all the time. So that's what the color looks like. And then I top it with this lip gloss that I love. I don't like lip, the NYX lip gloss applicators, but I love their formula. This is from the Mega Shine lip gloss. And this is Anne Sweetheart. And I just put that over on top of it. And it such a pretty combination. Let me show you what the lip gloss looks like. That right, stuff so it's right there. And let me show you what it looks like together. It just makes a really pretty combo. I mean... They're slightly uh, in the same color family, but for me, I, I really have liked this color combo. Just really, really pretty. So I'll bear wearing that today. I'm obviously wearing something else, but I'm trying to rotate a lot of my makeup out, and I'm determined to use up a lot of my lip products. I think I got a hair in my eyeball. Okay. Uh, okay, got that. Another thing I'm in love, and this is a non-look product. I bought this, I think, last week, and I have it on today. I've been wearing it on the days I've been wearing makeup. It's, I, I didn't think I was going to like it as much, but it's the Jordana Fabby Brow Eye Pencil. I'm in the medium uh, number two brown. This is really an easy tool to use. It kind of reminds me of, as far as how to apply it, um, the NYC um, eyebrow thing. Uh, you know, eyebrow kit. Now, um, I am going to go buy the Milani one. I'm hoping Walmart don't have it. If not, I'm just going to go ahead and cough up to $7 and go to Walgreens and uh, get it. 
But um, this is a really nice pencil. It has a brush on it. This was like $4. And the lady was helping me. She's really nice. She helped me determine this would be closest to my color to make it look natural. And it, it probably looks a little bit darker. But this is the kind of pencil that I think you can put on really lightly or build upon. And like I said, I've got it on. I've, I think I've got it on too dark. I'm pretty much I'm sure I do. But that's the initial swatch of it. And it's just really, really easy to apply. It blends in easily with my eyebrows, and I have not had an issue with my eyebrows, except for the part where I went to go pluck them. So I really like this. I highly recommend you try this if you're looking for a new eyebrow pencil. I know a lot of people are crazy about the Anastasia or Anastasia stuff from Beverly Hills, but a lot of us don't want to invest that much on our brows. You know, I always, I've always gone back to maybe a pencil eventually, but I don't think you have to. Those are really nice products, but I think it's also nice to find an inexpensive product. I mean, and she didn't even sh she didn't even show me the Maybelline the little two red brow sticks, you know. And I looked at the um, the finer brow that that one's eight dollars. I may try that one instead of getting the I may get the Milani and the the other one. But right now I'm really happy with this one's like four dollars. I gotta learn how to look for coupons. My nose is itching. Okay, and there, another product that you guys know I love, love this product, I bought backups, I got three backups, one of them's going to a friend of mine in a little, little goodie box, and wants to see all day long uh, foundation, I do have this on today, this is a great foundation, it comes in the pump, I'm not sure if all, oh my nose, I'm not sure if all Walmarts have this, I found a bunch of these at the Dollar Tree, and they actually have my shades, I'm in the number 737 Classic Ivory, what this is basically, it's like, it's basically, the the smooth it's actually this all day long smooth skin foundation and I just had that door open to pull that out and basically all this is is taking this and making it last 14 hours now this does last on me quite a while I'm not I've never had a problem with it coming off throughout the day or transferring like if I go to hug Carrie and he's wearing a shirt that is dark colored it didn't seem like it transferred I mean it's not like the Revlon color stay whipped foundation but it's really on up there so I really highly recommend you try this it, give it a whirl I mean if it don't work for you that's okay I'm sorry my nose is itching I get one I get really super super nervous in these videos when <laughs> my nose starts turning to be an itch bomb <laughs> okay uh, a blush. Now, I've been using two different blushes this week, and I've gone back and forth between the cream and the powder. Let me just show you the cream one. And I highly recommend you check this one out. I'm still unhappy with the way I've worn my my cream blushes, but I'm, I'm playing around with it. I still highly recommend you try the e.l.f. cream blushes. This is in Heartbreaker. A friend of mine had gotten this for me. And I have no idea why my nail is all bumped up on the bottom. Oh, that's gross. Anyway. But this is what it looks like, the label. And it has a little thing that helps keep it sealed, which I like. I want to say these are $3. I can be wrong. And this is it. Now it looks a it looks like a really bright hot pink, but believe me, when you get it on it, it blends out really easily. It the consistencies of um uh the Dream Bouncy blushes from Maybelline. I've never that's what it kind of reminds me of. I've I've tried those before, like I felt them. And it and then obviously, I mean, you don't need very much, obviously. And it and it also feels like play doh. But as you can tell, if you blend it out really, really nicely, you can kind of get a good pop of color in your cheeks. So I really like this one. I want to get a slight, like, a uh, lighter color in it. Um, I need to place the elf soon. But, yeah, I really do like this. I just don't like the way I've been putting it on. But the color's awesome, and the formula's fantastic. And the packaging, I know some people probably don't like the big packaging, but I do. The other blush I've been using, and... Let me show you the other one here. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, 
I'll just show you the packaging. This is called uh, Almost Famous. It's some uh, Essence Mineral um, Blush. Now, you can't find these unless you go on the internet and look, but it looks like that. It's got like a lighter and a darker one. I have this on today, and you can either swirl your brush in there, or you can just, you know, do whatever. And this just gives you a barely a touch of color on there. So I really, really like that. Now the bronzer I've been using all week has been my Essence Sun Club. This is in the blonde lighter skin. Uh, this should still be available. And it this is a buildable bronzer. But I've been using it for contouring. And then of course my highlighter is the Preserver Command I've hit Pan. I'm thinking about going and purchasing another one this weekend. I have it on that day. I didn't do much of a swap. Swipe. Whichever. Who wants to swap? I'm trying to hurry because my husband will be here any minute. Oh, here's that blush I was looking for. Um, let me go ahead and get into the eyeshadow uh, palettes and then I'll do one more beauty item. These um, these trios from Went Mall are awesome. Now, I bought another purple one and I bought a green one for a friend of mine who can't get them. This is in Listing for Beauty and then this one is for Zero Dark Flirty. These are awesome. I have been wearing the crap out of both of them, but I like this one better just because I like neutrals right now. And if you haven't found these, you really need to get your hands on them. They're very pigmented, very pretty. It's kind of a lousy straw. It kind of reminds me of Wet n Wild Vanity to some degree. This one is like probably the only matte one that they have. I love this. So pretty. I realize that I realize I didn't wipe my fingers off. So this will look good with that blush too. So if you haven't picked these up, you really need to try them. I'm sure the other ones are just as pretty or pigmented. I went to find Spool Brat. I didn't think I was gonna want it and now I saw a bunch of people having it and what it what kind of look to put up put together with it. I'm like, <gasps> yeah. Okay, last two things and I'll be done. The Equate Sensus Skin Astringent, the one that's comparable to Seabreeze, I swear by this, this is a great astringent and it's really inexpensive, it does uh, what it's supposed to do, get, get my face cleaned off, I actually bought another one a couple weekends ago, and then the St. Ives Naturally Clear Green Tea Scrub, I can, uh, this is for the oil free, I got this at Walmart or Target in a sample size, kind of ish, travel size, and I'm going to go find, trying to see if they have this in too. Maybe you can let me know in the comments below. Uh, but yeah, this is awesome. I love this. I highly recommend this. Is, gets my face really clean. And, you know, I've got a little bit of breakouts. They're not as bad as they normally are because of this stuff. So I highly recommend this. Okay, my dead of the week. I hate this mascara. I don't know if I told you guys. I don't like it. And I even tried it again. And it's the Professional Super Thick Glass Mascara from CoverGirl. I know a lot of the bigger YouTubes have said that they really like this. I put this on my eyelashes. It is nothing for me. Except coat my lashes. That's all it does. It didn't do anything. but let them sit there. What I have on today is my my Jordana one. So, yeah. I, I If you see this for $4.24 at Walmart, bypass it. Trust me. It don't do anything for your lashes. It just sits there. My NYC Big Hold uh, Thick Whatever Mascara does a much better job than this. So, don't waste your money on this. Anyway, guys, hope you liked it. Sorry I rushed to it, but I do have to go. I want to get this uploaded before I went to work today. Anyway, have a great, great day, and I will see you guys later. And um, if you have any video requests or anything, let me know. And let me know about the video idea that I suggested to you earlier. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.